hi guys i welcome you all back to my channel i am haisha in today's video i'll be showing you how to cut and sew this coat shoulder booboo gown thank you all for your support god bless you all if you are new to my channel kindly click on the subscribe button don't forget to turn on your notification bell so that whenever i upload a new video you will be notified stay tuned to the end of the tutorial See, I have my material here with me. I have two yards of this and I have pieces of this. I will be using this for the neck part. So let's start. So first, I will be cutting the neck. You can decide to use the main material for the neck also, but I decide to use another material for the neck aspect. So this is it. You fold your material into two sliders and you fold it back this way. You fold it this way back. You can see so there is no joining at the neck so there is no joining at the neck i'm cutting the front and the back aspect neck together this way so you fold it back this way you can see but the shoulder i'm using is 16 inches you divide your shoulder by two if i should divide my shoulder by two that will give me eight inches and you will need to remove two inches from your shoulder you know this is cold shoulder neck boo boo that we are cutting so i will remove two inches from my eight inches when i divide my shoulder by two so i'll have six inches left so i'll come here i'll measure six inches you can see so this is my six inches i'll measure six inches there you can see the width of the neck i'm using is four inches so i'll come here i'll measure four inches from here this is four inches you can see and the depth i'm using is two and a half so this is my two and a half you can see it so this is my two and a half you can decide to use three but don't make it too deep so you can see so this is so i will shape it to meet this you can see it you shape it around this way you can see so this is it so now you know we have two inches left here so i will need to measure that two inches all around so this is my two inches all around you can see this is it so now i will need to come here i will add half inch to hit at the down aspect here so i will need to add half inch that's the sewing allowance so you had your half inch to hit all round. You can see. This is it. So you can see we have it this way. So now I will need to cut it out. So you pick it here. You notch it before you cut the neck so you can see it so this is it so this is our front and back neck so you can see this is the shoulder so this is it so i will be cutting two pieces of this because i will still need one to turn it i will be using the other one for the lining now for the body you fold your fabric so you fold your fabric into four this is it you can see i'm cutting the front and the back aspect together so this is it so now we'll come to the upper part here the shoulder i'm using is 16 inches you divide your shoulder by two so if i should divide my shoulder by two from here i have eight inches so this is my eight inches so this is eight inches so from here i will be taking the sleeve length you determine the length of your sleeve so I will be making use of 13 inches for my so I'll come here so I'll measure 13 inches so I'll add one inch to it for the folding making 14 inches so this is 14 inches you can see so and you know this is booboo so I'll come to the down aspect here so the hip I'm using is 43 inches you divide your hip by four so 
this 43 and I will be adding five inches to heat so I'll come here I'll add five inches to heat so this is it you can see so from here so I'll shape it to this upper part it's a free booboo gown so you can just come here so from here like this so I will bring it up this way you can see so use your ruler to shape it So you can see so you can see the line so this is it you can see it. so that's all about this body so so now i will be cutting this part out so you come here you know it at this upper part here and should i you know it here you can see for the neck so i'll bring this this way so this is the one we cut for the neck and this is the shoulder so it's very important you know it so that we know the shoulder and everything so this is the shoulder so i will bring this here this way so from this shoulder here from this shoulder here from this shoulder here, I will measure three inches downward. So from here, I will measure three inches. So you can see this is where my three inches stop. You can see it. So this is where my three inches stop. So this place that my three inches stop, I will notch it. You can see. So I will notch it. You can see it. So I'll pick this now. So I'll place this this way. From here, you can see. So you place it like this. You can see, you can see it. You let it meet this point. Yeah. Let me shift it so that you to see it very well. So you place it like this, you can see. So from here. Make sure everything is laid. So I'll place it this way. So I'll place it like this. And I'll shock it. So this is it. So you shock it. So you shock it like this. You can see it. So I will remove it. So I will measure half inch upward. So instead of it to go down, I will measure half inch upward. So that's my sewing allowance that I will use in joining it to this side. So you measure your half inch upward. So at the upper part, so this is my half inch that I will use in joining it together to this. So you can see it. So this is it. So now I will be cutting this, not this first one that will draw. So I'll be cutting this second one. So this is it. So now we need to slit it at this upper part. So I will be slitting it into two. We slit the shoulder here. This is it. So now we'll be placing it on it. So you can see it. You can see. I will need to call this other one that I will be using for the lining, and I will need to add ST to this main one. So let me do that. I'll be showing you the sewing part of it. So this is the shoulder that will slit. You can see it. So you pick it. So this is the front and the back aspects. You can see it. So from here. 
from the neck here you measure whatever you want to use for the opening at the shoulder here so you measure whatever you want you determine that so as for me i'll be making use of five inches i'll measure five inches from here downward so this is where my five inches stop you can see so i'll start my swing from here now so i'll place swing from here downward with half inch now we will fold it in so you pick it from this neck side you fold it in a bit so you can see so you can see so this is it you can see it so you saw it this way same thing applies to the other side so this is it this is the two side i'm done with the two side so now we'll pick the neck this way so you pick the front and the back neck so you notch it at the center so center of the neck eh, you can see so you pick it this way and notch it here eh, at the center this way you can see you can see it so same thing applies to the back aspect you pick the back aspect also and notch it at the center for everything to be equal so that's the reason for that Listen. so now this is our the one that will cut for the upper parts you can make use of this same material so i just decide to use this so you open it so you know we've already notch it then so this is the shoulder you can see that i use chalk to indicate it so this is the shoulder you can see it and this is the center front this is the center front and this is the center back so this is the center back you can see so i will use this to turn the neck in first so this is the neck part you can see i've saw it all round so i use it to turn the round neck uh, you can see it i saw it all round after sewing you notch it so and after notching you top stitch on the lining you can see i top stitch on the one for the lining all round this is the main one that will be at the front this is the one for the line this will be at the back aspect so you can see it so this is it so and this is the shoulder you can see so this is the shoulder part so this is the shoulder part so this is how it will look so you can see so now we'll come to the center of the front here uh, we've notched the main one so we are going to notch the line it too so you can see you can see that this is where we notch for the shoulder you can see that is it corresponds so you can see that is the same so you come here so you make sure everything is lay you can see it so just make sure everything is lay so i'll come here so i'll need to notch this at the center here so notch this at the center you can see so you notch it at the center you notch it also here you see so this is it so and this is our body so we'll come to the center so you can see this is the center i've already notched the center of the neck here also you can see it. so i've notched the center so now i will be picking this so from the back aspect of it so i'll pick this this way so from the back aspect you can see the way i place it so you pick this back part and the lining the one for the lining so you pick it like this this is the center of the main one and this is the center of the neck so you pick it this way and you join it together to this point 
So let's do that. You can see. So you sew it to the other side too. So you sew it to this side too. So you can see it. So this is it. So you can see it. So the same thing applies to the back aspect. So this is it. Both the front and the back aspect. I'm done with it. Now after sewing, I will need to notch it. So I will notch the sewing here. So both the front and the back aspect. And after then, I will be using my iron to fold it this way. So I will need to fold it like this with iron. So you press it. And you use your iron to fold it. After then, you place your sewing on it. Let me do that. So this is it. I've ironed it, and I use office pin to hold it around. You can see. So you use office pin to hold it when you iron it. So you use your office pin to fold it. You can see. You fold it in, and use your office pin to hold it in, so that everything will lay when placing your sewing on it. It won't give you stress. So you see the back. This is the back aspect you can see. So this is the back aspect. So this is what the back aspect look like. You can see it. So now I will be placing sewing on heat around. So I'll come here. So let me start from here. So you place your sewing on it all around. So just follow the folding that you use in folding it. This is it. You can see this is the front part. You can see how neat it is. And this is the back aspect. So you can see it. So this is it. You can see the neatness. So make sure you are patient with it. And use your office pin. Use your office pin when ironing it. So make use of your office pin to fold it in so that it won't stress you when you get to the machine. So you can see so this that is all about the neck aspect so now we need to fold this side together this way so i'll come here from this shoulder here okay i'll measure 10 inches downward so from here i'll measure 10 inches so this is where my 10 inches stop you can see so where my 10 inches stop so i will notch it you can just notch it a bit so you can see it. so this is it you can see so i've notched it so this is it so now i'll fold it in from this point uh, i'll fold it this way so i'll be folding it in like this
so you can see so this is it same thing applies to this other side so this is it i'm done with the two side you can see so i fold it in this way so from where we stop our sewing here so here so i'll just place sewing on it downward from where we stop our sewing here so you place your sewing on it downward straight downward same thing applies to this other side this is the round sleeve you can see so this is it you can see it so this is it it i'm done with it i've folded it at the down aspect so this is it you can see so i fold it at the down aspect so that's all about our boo boo so if you find this video helpful kindly give it a thumbs up if you have any question or suggestion you can drop it in the comment section below kindly subscribe to my channel and make sure it turns on your notification bell so that whenever i upload a new video you'll be notified thanks for watching bye